Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Using the employees and orders example that we've previously been discussing in the last two lessons, once you have the tables added to the report and they have the associated link between them on their common field, you can then pull data from the tables and Crystal Reports will accurately display the requested data from the tables. Note that the information displayed in the common fields is of the same data type and this is a requirement of joining fields. Both fields must share the same data type. For example, you cannot link a string or text field to a number field. When you add multiple tables to the report using the Database Expert dialog box, Crystal will try to automatically create links between the tables. However, the way that Crystal Reports will choose to link the tables may not be correct. Crystal may create too many links, some of which will need to be deleted in order to pull the correct data. Crystal may also create the incorrect or undesired type of join between the fields and you may need to create or edit the join by hand in the links tab of the database expert dialog box. There are several types of possible joins that you can create on the links tab of the database expert dialog box and we are going to examine the four basic types of joins and how they impact information extraction for the underlying tables in the report. First off, we are going to add the fields that we would like to see for this report. In this case, let's say that we would like to see the employee ID, the name of the employee, the order ID or the invoice number for example, and the order date from the employees and the orders table in our report. So first off, let's add those fields to the report area. So from the employees table, we are going to bring over employee ID and the name. From the orders table, the order ID and the order date. Now let's take a look at the type of join, which once again we can access on the Database Expert tab and the Links tab. When we select a link between the table and click Link Options, we can see in the Link Options the four different join types. The first one would be an inner join. An inner join will display only records that have a matching value in the joined field in both tables. A left outer join will display all of the records from the left table, in this case employees, and only matching records from the right table, in this case orders. A right outer join will display all the records from the right table, in this case orders, and only matching tables records from the left table, in this case employees. A full outer join, which in this case is not selectable, displays all field values from both tables regardless of whether or not there are matching values in the joined fields. The type of join that exists between the tables for the report strongly determines what data will be used for the report and how that data will be displayed. Let's look at how the join that is set between the two tables can impact the data selected and displayed in the report using the example of the employees table and the orders table. Now first off, if we did not have a link between the two tables at all, and we se selected OK, and so we have two unlinked tables, and then we previewed the report, we get very inaccurate results. Specifically, this results in a Cartesian product, where each and every entry in the first table is matched to each and every entry in the second table. So you can see from the result set shown here that this is completely useless information. For example, it says Brett Brookstone placed orders 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, and Jenna Gregory also placed orders 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. So you can see it's simply multiplying every record 
for every employee times every order. If, however, we join the two tables through the employee ID field using the inner join type, we will only view data that have matches in both tables. So once again, back in the links tab in the database expert, if we join employee ID from employees to employee ID in orders, and set the link options to an inner join, and then preview it, we will see this result set. Notice the reference to the employee Jill Jefferson is omitted as she has taken no orders. Since there is no reference to Jill Jefferson in the orders table, the record is omitted when we pull this using an inner join. If we use a left outer join type, we'll receive a slightly different set of results. Using this type of join, which once again we select on the links tab, you'll see every record in the left table and then any data from the records that contain matching values from the right table. Looking at the result set that would be returned on the preview, you can see that now the reference to Jill Jefferson, employee number three, has been included this time, even though she has no matching orders. If we change the join type to become a right outer join, we would see every order entered into the orders table regardless of whether or not there's an employee for the associated order. So notice order number five has no current employee associated with it. So this produces this type of a result set. Performing a full outer join, which in this case is not selectable, would display every record from every table, including records that don't have a match in the other associated table. So in this case, it would produce a result set that shows both Jill Jefferson and then no order, and then order number five, which had no employee. So you can see from these examples, it's important to select the desired table and set the join as needed in order to display the correct results in the report. And all of the linking is always set using the links tab in the database expert dialog box. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.